gentlemen, may I direct your attention to something quite extraordinary, quite incredible, quite unlike anything you may have experienced in your life. It is with great pleasure I direct your attention... Here we are again, back in the Madron Meat Factory. So we came here before at night time. Um, I didn't do a YouTube video at the time, so I always wanted to have a little revisit. Doesn't seem like anyone cares about this place. As we climbed over, someone in the local house saw us, so hopefully she doesn't call the police or anything. And let's have a little look. This place is really big, remember? There's like all other buildings as well. Mm. It's cool. There's loads and loads of graffiti at this place. There's a couple of bits that are probably some of the best graffiti I've ever seen. Um, we're going to do a couple of loops and hopefully, oh actually, here's one now. This bit of graffiti is amazing. So, so cool. There's so much graffiti around here, people obviously get in all the time and they don't care too much about it. There's all these little buildings, different parts, remnants of when it used to be the meat factory. I don't know what this would have been for. It's like some kind of drain and there's ties on there as well, like buckles. interesting place. Like I said the first time we came here was at night time um, and people saw us climbing then. People just saw us climbing this time as well. I just don't think anyone cares too much about it. There's the main bit that we just walk through. There's a whole other section and there's this kind of barn off in the distance which we'll go check out now as well.
So as you can see, there is a lot around, a lot of buildings. They're all really bare, but have been taken over by really quite decent graffiti compared to what you see at most places, as well as nature coming back in with all the plants. There's nests in there. It's really, really quite a cool place and definitely worth a visit if you're in the area.